Hello, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we'll show how to create this scene using 3ds Max and D5 workflow. D5 Render offers a live sync plugin for Max designers to enjoy the real-time rendering workflow. Once linked with D5, you can navigate within Max and check your models in a realistic environment. Upon its release, alongside D5 2.6, the plugin introduced model Live Sync, simplifying the design update process. The plugin also enables sending cameras from Max to D5. For designers fond of adding and grouping light sources in Max, the plugin comes in handy for thinking lights while keeping their group structures. Currently, you must click the Send Lights button to import light sources. However, with the upcoming D5 2.7 update introducing the Light Live Sync feature, light updates will also occur instantly. The camera brought in from Max can be fine-tuned within D5. Adjust the focal length and switch on walk mode to achieve a viewpoint that closely resembles the human perspective. Add a circle backdrop plane to quickly decorate the skyline. Plant low poly trees around the building to further enrich the background. Choose a bright blue HDRI to create a vibrant atmosphere. Rotate it to an appropriate angle to ensure that the sunlight illuminates the structure while casting shadows effectively. For an even richer blue sky, consider reducing the exposure value. Boost the sunlight intensity for a warmer glow. Place maple trees in the foreground and mix in different species of round canopy trees to enhance the composition. This will also create an attractive contrast of light and shadow at the foreground. Activate the path tool to add stones along the road, ensuring they have a realistic look through random size, direction, and spacing. Test different amounts to find the ideal arrangement Decorate the lawn with a mix of flowers and shrubs, with main plants elevated and companion plants subdued for a stepped appearance. Finally, add some low-growing vegetation to fill in the gaps on the ground. Move on to add traffic signs and characters. Here's a trick to quickly create a beautiful sky. Add a plain model behind the building. Apply the multimedia material template and import a sky and clouds image onto the plane. Switch on transparency, luma matte, and increase the transparency value. Fine tune the UV scaling. Pull up the saturation and contrast to give the sky a vivid appearance. Now you've crafted a stunning day scene backdrop with ease.
Go on to set the evening environment by selecting a sunset HDRI. Adjusting it to the ideal orientation for a dusk-like atmosphere. Hide the sky plane and enhance the skylight intensity. For a striking visual effect, try boosting the light intensity, expanding the attenuation radius, and using a warm tone for a dramatic contrast. Then, when you tweak the side lighting, just lower the intensity a notch to keep it subtle. This will give you a lighting design having depth. To further enrich the scene, place a car on the street with its headlights on. Put a few ornamental lamps in the lawn. Once the decorative lighting is in place, place rectangular lights above the square to serve as the primary lighting, casting a glow upon the building. The front lighting is now set up. To quickly light up the rear, you can use interior parallaxes from D5 Asset Library. Choose an office parallax window and increase its lighting intensity to achieve the desired effect. Finally, add some spotlights to light up trees. An atmospheric evening is now created that completes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.